So I wasn't even going to do a video today, I was just going to take the Friday off. But then I came across this article and it just seemed so ridiculous that Samsung would be doing something like this. So in some recent updates that Samsung is pushing out, in particular with this article, I believe it is the Fold 2. It's one of the Fold phones that he has. Samsung is pushing out an application called Samsung Visit In. This is being automatically installed on your device. In some instances, we're seeing, I'm seeing reports of this dating back as far as February of this year, where Samsung has rolled out this application called Samsung Visit In. And the idea is to send you notifications whenever this application detects that you are in a store, say Best Buy. So say you're walking into Best Buy with this phone, Samsung knows that you have this phone and that you are a Samsung you know, customer. So this application will then alert you to potential sales for other Samsung products. Maybe it's a new phone that Samsung pushed out. Maybe it's some new earbuds that the company has just released. The company has decided to use this Samsung Visit In, which is not opt-in, to alert you to these different sales. And again, you can read this article, I'll be linking in the video description just to see how ridiculous this whole issue is. But today I want to show you how to work around it. I want to show you how to get around this stupid addition that Samsung has rolled out to actually disable this app and uninstall it from the default user profile which is your user profile on the Samsung Galaxy S20, the Galaxy S20 Plus, the Galaxy S20 Ultra, the Galaxy S20 FE. And this will probably work on other Samsung devices as well. So let me first show you how to find out if your device has this application installed. The best way to do it is just go ahead and open up the settings application. And then we just scroll down a little bit until you see the apps option. And then from here, you're either going to want to tap on the three dot menu, or you're going to want to tap on this sorting option button so that you can select the show system apps toggle. And then with this, we can simply search at the top. And as we can see the application has the word visit and there we have the Samsung visit in app that is currently right there we can see some different details of this app if you want if you have the ability you can disable it from here however on my device that option is grayed out and that's okay we can still disable and uninstall it from the user profile from our PC with the help of ADB. But we can just get a quick look from here. We can block all notifications if you want. Maybe you just don't wanna see those notifications but you wanna keep that app running in the background. You have the option to never be bothered by this app. Now we have the permissions here and I first wanted to go in here and just disable the location or the phone permissions but we actually cannot we cannot disable these permissions using Samsung software without forcing it with root access. We can even see all of the permissions this application has access to, even ones that we cannot usually deny access to including location permissions, phone permissions, and other app capabilities. This application has access to all of these permissions on the device. So let's go ahead and disable this app and uninstall it from the current user. So if you need to, we can install a APK package name application so that we can find the package name for this app. 
which we can see is com.samsung.android.ipsgeofence. Because we're going to need this package name, this reverse website looking URL. We're going to need that because we need to type it into our command prompt on the PC. So let's go ahead and connect this phone to our PC with the USB cable. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and install ADB and Fastboot tools on your PC. I'll have a link in the video description to show you how to do that if you're unaware. And we need to go ahead and open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. When you plug in your USB cable, you'll probably get a dialog box that pops up asking if you, if you want to allow access just to prove that. But not only that, we need to enable USB debugging mode access. And we do that by going into developer mode and the developer options menu. If you're not familiar with how to enable developer mode, again, look in the video description as I'll have a tutorial that shows you how to do that. And once we go in here, you just need to scroll down a little bit and toggle on the USB debugging option. If you have the ADB service running on your PC at the time, you'll likely get a prompt that pops up asking if you want to allow this PC to have USB debugging access to the phone. You can just go ahead and grant that permission. So here we have the command prompt that I opened using our minimal ADB and fastboot shortcut. I went ahead and started the ADB service using the ADB devices command, which again prompted that pop-up to appear. I then typed in ADB space shell and pressed enter. Again, this is all while the phone is connected to the PC with the USB cable. And that brought me into this ADB shell bash prompt. From here, I'm typing out the command pm space uninstall space dash dash user space zero space com dot samsung dot android dot i p s g e o f e n c e so what we're doing here is we are going into our ADB shell prompt directly onto the phone instead of the you know shell prompt being on our PC. We're now executing commands on our phone when we are at this shell prompt. We are telling or initiating the uninstall command, but we're initiating this from a specific user, user zero which is you. Now, if you've added multiple profiles, like a work profile to your, uh, to your device, you may need to uninstall this for multiple users, user zero, user one, user two, user three, however many profiles you made, you'll need to uninstall it for each user you want to remove that application from. Starting with user zero, user zero is the default starting user and then we do a space and now we have to type out the package name for that app since we can't just type in Samsung visit in app we have to type out that package name that I showed you which is com.samsung.android.ipsgeofence all we have to do now is press enter on the keyboard and you should get a success message now, if you want, we can go back to our phone to make sure that that application has been uninstalled and disabled from the current user. You can do that by opening up that package name app again. Again, searching for visit. And we're going to actually see that application is in the list. However, whenever we go to tap the detail button right here, which would bring us to the app properties page, from the settings app that we were just at, it's actually not gonna do anything. It's gonna go back to this app 
because there is no app properties for us to go to for this user. You can even look in the apps section again if you want. Remember, make sure show system apps are on. And then search for visit and you should not see that application there. So there you have it. That is how to uninstall and completely disable the Samsung visit in ad application from running and displaying ads and notifications to you on the Samsung Galaxy S20, the S20 Plus, the S20 Ultra, and likely all of the other Samsung devices that are currently running One UI firmware.